Hi everyone, Mark Chasseur from Sheko. I'm here with David Schallenberg from Ahold Deleuze uh, to talk about a very exciting supermarket here in Brussels, Belgium. So David, who's responsible for this project and amongst other projects for building projects in general within uh, Belgium and Luxembourg, uh, is going to tell us a little bit about what's so unique about this particular store. Uh, it's nice seeing you, Mark, and I'm sorry for the dirty shoes, but uh, we're standing here in a, in a glass house on the rooftop of one of our stores. So this is a greenhouse. So greenhouse, we're actually technically yes. we're in the center of Brussels. Mm -hmm. We're in a greenhouse, but below us is a supermarket. Right. So what, what, what's the thinking behind this? In fact, the idea was to shorten this chain and we're cultivating today products here, as you see around. Uh, in this greenhouse and also outside, which are later sold in uh, the supermarket below. Okay, so you w we'll go and check those products later on after. Okay. Uh, but this is, to my knowledge, this is quite a unique s uh, idea. It's the, yeah, it's the first uh, greenhouse in Europe uh, yeah. on top of a supermarket. Okay. So it's quite new concept. It was, uh, it took some time to figure it out, but with within the, uh, Deleuze, we had a whole team, mainly sustainability, okay. who looked at it. It's also a project where we looked at shorting the chain. The products that are cultivated here are uh, linked to the season. So mm -hmm. you need to take all, always that uh, in account. Yep. You cannot uh, produce So it's anything. really thinking from a sustainability point of view. Products yes. that you can actually locally grow according yes. to the season. Grow locally yep. and sell locally. Okay. It's also on a rooftop, it's a, it's a green roof. Yeah. So it's not only a project, it's also accessible. Okay. So we don't want to make a, a closed uh, community or something that's fenced off of the neighbors. Okay. So we have neighbors looking onto the roof. Yeah, and you can see roof. behind us there, I mean, you can see that beyond the greenhouse, there's also other additional vegetables that have been planted, yes. right? We have about 400 square meters here. 400 square meters, yeah. okay. And, uh, also, we invite schools so mm -hmm. they can come to uh, see how it works, and it's really the urban context which makes it uh, gives it sense. Because we did it here in the city center yeah. of, of Brussels, mm -hmm. it's very dense. There's a lack of open space, green space, mm -hmm. and if you can exploit this fifth facade of the building, yeah. it's really an added value. Because normally on the rooftop, what do you find? Some technical installations. Yeah. Uh, air conditioning units, air conditioning units. Yeah, yeah. and this is creating added value on top of a supermarket and a space which basically wouldn't be used. Okay, and so how does this relate to natural refrigerants? What is so special about this particular urban farm? But we raised another challenge because mm -hmm. one part was the idea of putting this uh, urban farm on top of one of our stores and mm -hmm. it was a nice idea. Mm -hmm. And then with the engineers we said, okay, Let's go one step further. Mm -hmm. And when thinking of our installations, we always have, with CO2 installations, uh, we reclaim heat. Yeah. And today we already use it to heat our stores, um, also for the production of hot water. Yep. But even then... So you went one step further? Yeah, we said, okay, we still have more than we need. So putting these puzzles, these pieces, uh, jigsaw pieces together, together uh, everything fell into place and we said, okay, why not heat the glass house with the excess heat of one part of the excess heat and... Uh, so it's a very integrated approach in this respect. Yes, it's very yeah, we're not, holistic. You're not losing the heat, no. using it to also <laughs> grow plants or vegetables that you're then uh, selling downstairs. So it's, uh, Most it's importantly, there was another challenge also in the, pro in the project, it's product-wise. Everything that's produced here is also being certified. So it's been certified organic? Yeah. We, that one, <laughs> I have to, yeah. because uh, there are certain limits to it. Uh -huh. It's because on our, on our rooftop, but um, which certification we have? That okay, okay, uh, okay. But it's got a certain type of certification that allows you to, yeah, it's to, to sell it. It's edible it's, and it can be sold. It meets the, yeah. the quality standards of uh, yeah. uh, food products. Okay. And then, so what are your plans beyond this particular urban farm? Do you see yourself applying this elsewhere in Belgium and beyond? Because as part of the Ahold Deleuze <coughs> group, which is a global food retailer, um, you know, you have the opportunity to maybe grow that beyond here in Brussels. Opening this first uh, urban farm uh, raised a lot of 
attention also in the press and other cities are eager to, to welcome this concept. But there are some uh, challenges also when you develop this kind of project. You need a building also uh, construction-wise which mm -hmm. is able to... To be designed because yeah. Yeah. this isn't a new build, this is a remodel. It's an existing building yeah. and so we reinforce the actual structure to put this roof on top because it's an extra weight because you need uh, this layer of, of soil mm -hmm. and it's, it's adding weight on the whole structure. So what we're doing today is looking, one, for buildings who are in the good urban context mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. Uh, if you are in the suburbs, uh, this is a concept which is less appealing, but in a city, urban yeah. uh, city context, high dense density, uh, it's a good location. Secondly, uh, it's the, um, the building, the construction yeah. you want to put it on. Okay, okay. So it's not as easy as that, but there's a process in place. There's and, a process. And it works, and the feedback so far, because this opened up a couple of months ago now, end mm -hmm. of October. Um, how, how, what's the feedback that you've been getting from the community and from the, from the employees here? Uh, Are they excited about being part it, of an, a it, revolutionary it, concept? It creates an engagement mm -hmm. and it says, okay, it's, it's really a project that stands out mm -hmm. and where we show what's possible okay. and we go beyond. And the idea is also, um, it creates also more visibility mm -hmm. around CO2 and natural yeah. refrigerants yeah. because uh, there's a certain complexity to explain to yeah. non-professionals what it is about. Mm. And these kinds of projects make it possible to, uh, to create a compelling story. Okay. okay, so people are happy. People are happy yeah. and to... And they're buying the vegetables. <laughs> yes, I had this encounter just when coming up the yeah, stairs yeah. with one of our clients oh, yeah. and she was looking at me and I said, well, where are you going? There's no parking deck uh, yeah. above this parking deck. I said, I'm going to the urban uh, farm. She said, what? Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I explained to her a little bit what it was about, and she told me right away, nice project, uh, I'm Great. going to check the product in uh, the supermarket next time I come Perfect, here. it's about awareness raising. Perfect, that's yes. exactly what we need. Okay, great. Thank you very much, David. Thank you, Mark.